Hey everybody, this is Austin, the best I can afford antiques channel. Uh, you know, just a little bit ago I was bidding on, I was bidding on some auctions on highbid.com. I'm going to make sure my microphone's facing me and hopefully you won't be picking up on too much of the noise of uh, the brush as opposed to me talking. So I'm just going to try and be calm tonight because, uh, okay, so I was bidding on an auction on highbid.com and um, we got to the lot that I was actually interested in, okay? Like, we went through just lot after lot after lot. And there we were. We finally got to the one that I wanted the worst. And uh, all of a sudden the bidding stopped working. It kicked me out of the thing that I was looking at. You know what? I actually think that's brightening that up so much. Isn't it? Wow, look how much brighter that little chunk of, uh, chunk of blue is. So this is the second painting that came with... Um, it came with that copy of Monet, uh, Bridge at Argentuela. Uh, you know, <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> really doubt it, Austin. <laughs> Bridge at something, something, something. So, um, I'm not going to touch that with my gloves off. So, we're just going to keep brushing at it. And I think that's actually brightening that up quite a bit. It's really picking up some of that white. I like that. Well, isn't that nice? Unless I'm just uh, being ocularly deceived because I'm like turning it in the light or something. Let's focus on this little patch right here. See if we do anything there, huh? I think so. I think more blue comes out of it when we do that. I'm doing this very, very super gently. I mean, I'm not putting any pressure on this brush. Less than like you would push on a pencil. Much. Like, really. I mean, do not... Do not just attack your paintings with a paintbrush. Just be very gentle. This is a very... Very light bristle at the end paintbrush. I think I think that'll be fine. I bought the I bought the most expensive one they had at Harbor Freight, so so we should be fine. I mean, Harbor Freight's kind of like uh, you know budget art restoration supplies. <laughs> probably not a probably not. I think we have brightened up, uh, particularly this chunk right here, I think we've brightened up quite a bit. So yeah, I was bidding on a, I was bidding on in a single auction on highbid.com all day. We finally got to the lot that I really wanted. It was the only thing that I was just super amped for, for myself. You know, some of the other stuff, I admit like all the other stuff is just to make videos about and then to try and sell. So, um, so there we finally got to the thing that I wanted the worst. And, uh, all of a sudden my internet stopped working. And like, I became pretty distraught. It was like two minutes and 30 seconds. I had put an earlier bid in for like three dollars or something and then somebody bid me up to four dollars and I was like alright I'll just wait until towards the end of the auction and that's fine. And my internet really never cuts out I mean I've got a fair phone company at the very least and uh yeah tonight as my real auction pick came up that's when my internet petered out and I was like that is so crazy I shut down absolutely everything else on my phone to make sure this auction site was the only thing running and yeah, I was just, uh, I was freaking out. I shut down my phone and tried to restart it before the auction ended. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It just stopped. And, uh, I came back to the auction and someone had won the item that I was willing to go up to like $80 on for $4. For, for $4. I, you know, I obviously don't get very mad on my antiques channel because I'm not going to. I'm not going to look at something like that 
and just be like, oh, the rage, you know, <laughs> like, <laughs> what a beautiful thing. And how ludicrous would it be to have any feelings of like, you know, anger or ill will while this was going on, right? We're just making an old thing beautiful again. It's not necessarily super old. It was probably like mid-century, I think. But yeah, it's the brother to the uh, to the copy of that Claude Monet painting. And I figured if we were gonna if we were gonna try to clean one up, we should try to clean this one up first, and then. Uh, We'd, as long as this was successful and we didn't damage anything and nothing bad happened, we would go along to the other picture. So I'm going to tell you now, I'm not a professional at this, but I, I do think that this is looking very nice now. I mean, I really think we've churched it up a bit, don't you? Just maybe? Oh, you know what? The, um, the reflection of the, uh, uh, oh... Oh, what? Oh, mast? No, mast? Yeah, main mast. Yeah, um, yeah, okay. The, uh, reflections of the masts down here actually have texture to them. They're actually really nice. They're very pretty. So, yeah, I know this is probably, like, a boring video just listening to me talk. Oh, so anyway, yeah, the thing sold for $4. And, um, I'm a big proponent of, uh, talking to people you know win some lose some you know give it a shot so i messaged this auction house and i was like you know you know i'm so sorry i don't know if this is inappropriate or not i'm very new to auctions and uh and i don't know if i can even say this to you like legally i don't know <laughs> i don't know what, i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> so but you know what sometimes i i make out the best when i don't know what i'm doing i think uh I think I've benefited a few times from really just not knowing what I'm doing. So, and if you watch my videos, you know what I'm talking about. I got a, I got a piece verified by a living master in Japan just by being a rookie, just by being a dumb kid as far as antiques go. So yeah, see quite a bit of dinge up here. So let's see if we can clean any of that dingy stuff off of these clouds. Now, I do think that some of them have a bit of gray, so I don't think, uh, <coughs> we're not trying to just brush the whole cloud off, you know what I mean? Let's see if I can reduce the glare just a bit. I think we want a little bit less on that, and we'll, uh, you'll be able to see the colors a little more accurately, I think. Isn't that beautiful? Let's just stop for a second. That's a gorgeous thing. Even as a reproduction, that's a that's a beautiful painting. So let's see if we can do it any good. I'm gonna put that canvas thread back behind the painting. So yeah. I think we've already brightened up those uh, patches of sky significantly right there. I think this is gonna be just beautiful. So yeah, I messaged the auction house, and um, I said, you know, I gotta admit, but I'm just distraught over this thing that I lost that went for four dollars here. I uh, I really can't believe it. My internet went down right then, and he was like, you know what? It wasn't your internet. It was high bid, and they probably cost us hundreds of dollars because their whole website went down, and we were locked out of our entire auction there. And I said, oh my god. So. So Hybid dropped the ball, cost the auction house just apparently hundreds of dollars. And I was there to verify that I would have in fact gone up to $80 on the item that sold for $4. So factually, they may have cost them $76 just in that small instance right there in the one item I was going to bid on. I don't know how much anybody else would have bid on it, but I was going for it. It was going to be mine. I like a fight. <laughs> Just for an item. I don't really like fighting with people. But I don't mind a little... I don't mind a little um, friendly competition when it comes to bidding. I think this painting is just gorgeous. 
So yeah, I messaged the guy and he said it was Hybed's fault and uh, probably cost him a fair bit of money there. I was like, yep, yep, they definitely did, because I, uh, I definitely would have bought that. I was going to be the guy, no matter what, no matter who else bid on it. I was I was going home with that bad boy, but instead, somebody bought it for $4. So, every once in a while, you can uh, you can just message somebody and be like, Oh, it sucks that I lost, bro. <laughs> and they'll be like, you know what? Why don't I talk to the person who bought it? And see, uh, and see whether they're interested in um, maybe letting you have it. Especially since they were an out-of-state person. So maybe, just maybe, because I, because I cared enough to message this auction guy and say, Hey, you know, <laughs> would you please try and buy this back for me? Because something went wrong on the auction. Uh, and that's actually like what he's going to do, I think. So yeah. Just just talk to people. Just be friendly. That's my recommendation. If you didn't get something you wanted, don't act like a fool. Don't throw around shenanigans, panic attacks, you know. People like relaxing. People like it when you're going to be their calmest customer. I used to have customers. I still do. Uh, you know, I don't like uh, being yelled at. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like being called stupid. No, I'm just, you know, why would you be a fan of any of that? Gonna use it like a little broom here, see what we do there. I really think that so much of that is just like grimy, grimy gust stuff. See, like, look how much that's cleaning up right there. I don't really want to press harder or anything, but that is, like, coming along nicely. Like, man, look at that painting, guys. Tell me that's not fantastic. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I'm so happy with these. These are absolutely beautiful. I'm sorry if anybody buys these from me in the future about experimenting by uh, cleaning them up like this. Truthfully, I've never done this before, but I'm being very careful. And as you can see, I'm not taking away any paint. You can see very clearly where there's where there's paint versus uh, just kind of buildup. I mean, you can see very clearly all this artist's brush strokes and stuff. So I'm not taking away anything that belongs there, I promise. I mean, as we reveal this beautiful blue under here, I mean, it's obvious that some of that was supposed to be shining through. And if you see the original painting, it's very obvious that portions of this were supposed to be very bright blue. No, I'm not saying... I think this guy uh, really tried to paint his own painting. But it's very clear that some of these patches up here are supposed to be bright blue. And, and you can actually see that it would correspond to this a little bit. So, I mean, I really do think that this is supposed to be a little bit, a little bit just brighter. It should at least sort of match the, uh, the area down there, I would think. So, yeah, I'm going to keep working at that a little bit. Not very hard. So, yeah, um, you know, feel free to message me and tell me I'm doing this wrong. I'd much rather be corrected than do something incorrectly. Somebody told me the other day that they didn't think that I appreciated information from anyone. Which is just... Oh, come on, man. Why do, you, why do people just say things that they have, like, no basis in reality? I know... Jonas... Jonas, I know I've thanked you, like, 35 times. I genuinely appreciate your input. I appreciate you being my friend. I'm just delighted by all the people that I get to talk to on such a regular basis now. I I genuinely enjoy your company. It's not a it's not a thing I would say to people to like keep them in my company. 
if I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I would be like, hey, you can go ahead. <laughs> I've got so many phrases for this particular sentiment. Like, I could really... Oh, I, I could ruin somebody's day in like eight different ways, I promise. I put my Leave it to Beaver on for you guys, but... But I mean, in real life, I've got... I, I'm like a crass raccoon, you know, like a bit of a, a, bit, <laughs> a bit of a skulky little bandit, but I got a big old fat tummy. <laughs> and yeah, I might be plotting, maybe, but it's only on how to get in the garbage can. <laughs> if you made it to 15 minutes and 50 seconds on this video, you deserve all this. <laughs> I love you guys. If you made it to 15 minutes and 50 seconds in this video, you're an absolute champion and one of my best friends in the whole wide world, and I love you dearly. This is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. I hope you guys like these paintings. I think they're absolutely lovely. I think, um, I think I'll make an unboxing video tomorrow, but I've also got to go and buy the... 18 lots that I just won in an auction 50 minutes away from me. So I guess we'll see what that's all about pretty soon here too. This is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. You have no idea how much stuff I just bought. I love you guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe, tune in, see what I got.